Have you ever wondered how the delicious creamy butter that you spread on your morning toast is made? This question may have crossed your mind as you savored the buttery goodness melting into the warm toasted bread. This delectable spread that has been a staple in our kitchens for generations has an intriguing story of transformation. Butter, in its essence, is churned cream. It's a tale that dates back thousands of years, when our ancestors first discovered that agitating cream could yield this luscious product. From being a laborious, handmade process in the past, butter production has evolved into a sophisticated, industrialized operation. The magic lies in separating the butter fat from the rest of the milk components. It might sound simple, but the process is a delicate dance of science and artistry, a testament to human ingenuity. Are you intrigued to know more about how butter is churned out on a large scale? You're about to find out. So, every butter journey starts with fresh, high-quality cream. This cream undergoes a vital process known as pasteurization, where it's heated to a specific temperature to kill off any harmful bacteria, ensuring the butter is safe and healthy to consume. Once pasteurized, the cream isn't rushed to the next step. Instead, it's left to ripen. During this ripening stage, the cream develops a depth of flavor that will eventually characterize the butter. This is a delicate process, where the cream is carefully monitored to make sure it ripens just right. Following ripening, the cream takes a spin in the churn. Here, it's vigorously shaken until the butterfat and buttermilk separate. This is a fascinating transformation, as the smooth cream morphs into solid granules of butterfat swimming in buttermilk. After churning, the butter is washed. This step is crucial as it helps remove any remaining buttermilk, which could otherwise affect the butter's shelf life. Now, for those who love a bit of tang in their butter, this is when the magic happens. The butter can be salted to enhance its flavor and also to act as a natural preservative. Finally, the butter is shaped and packaged, ready to be spread over your favorite bread or melt into your cooking. And voila, that's how butter is made. But do you ever wonder why some butter tastes different than others? The taste of butter can vary greatly, and it all comes down to the quality of the cream and the churning process. Top-grade cream, meticulously churned, often yields butter with a rich, nuanced flavor. The addition of salt can further enhance this taste. Different brands may have unique processes that give their butter a distinct flavor. So, the next time you spread butter on your toast, remember the journey it has been through to reach your breakfast table. And remember, behind every great dish, there's a slice of butter.